This video is being sponsored by the Bismuth Smith. Stick around and have a chance at winning $1,000 in free Bismuth product. <laughs> Super cool. And there's alien stuff all over, everywhere you look. You don't stick your hand right down on the cacti. And guess what? We're out here digging in the middle of the desert and I see some other people and guess who it is? It's that camping couple. What? Here we have a plate of Pecos diamonds. In this video, we're going to show you all the tips and tricks to find them just like these nice double terminated high quality crystals. So what is a Pecos diamond? They're actually not diamonds. They're doubly terminated quartz crystals. They form all along the Pecos River Valley in southeastern New Mexico. I knew being in Roswell, I would run into a couple of aliens. So, and here they are picking up Hello. Hello. the quartz diamonds. Appreciate that. <laughs> this location today has so many reds and oranges. Pecos diamonds are formed inside gypsum. The gypsum actually crumbles away. Over time, the rain decays the gypsum layering out and crystals start to show up right on the surface. See it right there? Super red, perfect little clusters. And it seems like 98% of these are red. Today we're digging just east of Roswell, New Mexico. All that yellow is high potential area for crystals. And today we're going right there. Check this out. I found a pretty good area and you can see they're just right on the surface here and there are a lot of reds, but this is what I want to show you right here. Look, this one is so dark red. It really looks purple. It's just a deep red. These are a really great colors everything Ooh, look at that this was like orange double terminated <laughs> what these are some of my favorites it's super red and kind of elongated check it out And basically the rain just etches these out over time. This gypsum just slowly decays and these crystals just come right out and end up just like you're seeing them right on the surface. All right guys, here's one of the darkest I've seen. Check it out, not that, <laughs> that, look. Frank up there finding him a few and check these out. I really like I really like these elongated ones. They're really cool. Double terminated. It's probably the best formed little cluster yet. You can really see the awesome points. All right, we're digging and digging and digging. Check out these cool cacti. And then we got this cool camping couple. Empty in their pockets. <laughs> Look at that. What? Already a bag full. Probably nothing but junk, but <laughs> they're getting them. <laughs> no, I'm you just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at that. They're here. They are here. You don't stick your hand right down on the cacti, because that's what'll happen. Oh. Oh, that hurt me a little bit. You know, sometimes you'll find concentrated areas like this. You just want to get down as close as you can because you'll just start popping out left and right. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, this this is probably the best shaped formed one all day, you guys. Check this out. Yeah, look at that. It's double terminated and it has a couple of crystals coming off the side. Super cool. Stick that one in the front pocket. Ooh, nice cluster. Oh, look at that. Elongated. He got stuck. <laughs> oh, man. Something found him. Ooh, <laughs> all right. Let me pull it out. Uh, yeah, go ah! for it. You ready? Oh! <laughs> just yank it. Like a band -aid. You're lucky. You just got the barely little, little bitty piece, huh? Uh-huh. So you guys watch out for the cacti. They will get you. All right, so we're taking off. It's been a fun day and we're walking back. And I don't know if this is part UFO because we're near Roswell. It's just out here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, open it up. I'm standing back. It might blow up. It might be a booby trap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what this is. It's a geocache. It's a geocache. Okay, okay. Hey. Look. What's in it? It's got all kind of stuff you're supposed to like, right? Look. Look at this. Oh, man. Look. Oh, this is cool. I'm going to write, we'll have to write our names down here. Yeah. That's the coolest pin I've ever seen. Look, it's been <laughs> cut down. Sire. Look. Luna. Subscribe to the Look Crystal Collector. Girl. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Intentionally or not, it's part of a worldwide game dedicated to GPS geocaching. <laughs> this is how I read, y'all. <laughs> now, if you found this container by accident, which is us, great. You are welcome to join us. Pretty neat. My first geocache on oh. accident. Bowling pins, there's uh, all kind of weird stuff in here. Baggy. <laughs> if you get out here to this geocaching spot and you need some chapstick. Also, make sure you got. pin. It's looking pretty epic out here, y'all. And I just found a really cool one. Check this out. I marked it with the old hat here. Check it out, Frank. All right, here it is. You ready? Yeah. All right. Boom! No. What's so cool about this one? It's like tri-colored. It's like, yeah, look at those colors. Really cool the way the colors on this one go from like milky to orange to red. Awesome. All right, end of the day, we've got beautiful scenery here, the plants. And check this out. We started seeing these small crystals everywhere. Right? Little DTs. We get up and look at this. We got these ants and they've dug out these crazy big holes and they have brought up crystals all over the surface. Look at that. Look, they're just laying literally right beside. <laughs> no kidding, dude. I think that I haven't seen any two crystals that close together. So you got crystals here, here. What would you say, Frank? There's like 500? Probably. Look. At least 100 of the really good. Look at that. That's wild. All out of this one little spot. <laughs> so they're coming right out of there. Okay. You guys look totally orange <laughs> <laughs> because of this beautiful sun. It's crazy. So anyway, where's that piece? Right here. Look at this. Dylan, let's see if we can get a better shot here with the headlamp, show you the true colors. It's a really neat piece. It's like a cluster, but right in the center, it's got the red. Look like flying saucers right out of Roswell. <laughs> And that's a perfect one. It's like got the alien sticking right out. Yeah, it does. That's a good one. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. Little DT. It's so red, it's almost purple. Look at that. 
Dylan finding them. And look, another desert strawberry, deep, almost purple. Ooh, that's sticky. Here we have a world-class bismuth cluster by the Bismuth Smith. This material is incredibly hard to work with, and they make all these pieces handmade one by one. It's just an awesome process, as you'll see here, as the magic happens. He can make these customizable, which means he can do all kinds of colors any way he chooses. This is epic. Base bismuth metal is eight times more rare than silver. And look at that. It has a crystalline structure. All this makes bismuth a very expensive item. But we're doing a 30% off discounted price. Just throw in the code AMETHYST and you'll be included in the $1,000 raffle if you use the discount code, what?